For weeks, astronomers watched the strange interstellar object, 3I Atlas, as it drifted silently across our solar system. At first, it looked like just another visitor, a frozen piece of rock flung from a distant star, passing harmlessly through our cosmic neighborhood. But then, something happened that no one could have predicted. Something struck it. The impact was so sudden, so unexplainable, that scientists are still scrambling to understand what they've just witnessed. The initial observations suggested nothing out of the ordinary. Telescopes recorded Atlas growing brighter, its tail expanding as solar radiation stripped material from its surface. These were the natural behaviors of a comet. But then, one faint yet unmistakable flash changed the entire story. A burst of light that wasn't reflected sunlight wasn't a solar flare and wasn't cosmic noise. It looked deliberate. At first, analysts assumed it was a collision with space debris, perhaps a rogue asteroid fragment or even an unnoticed dust cloud. But when they compared the light signature with known impact events, the data didn't match. This wasn't random. The spike in radiation carried a pattern, a coded rhythm, something that looked eerily structured a message hidden inside the violence of a strike. And this brings us to the unsettling question, who or what delivered it? Let's contrast this with what scientists expected. Normally, when an interstellar body is hit, it either breaks apart or its orbit shifts slightly. That's predictable physics. But Atlas didn't behave that way. Instead of fragmenting, its trajectory sharpened as if it had been nudged or guided onto a more direct course. The so-called collision didn't scatter debris. It tightened its path. It was almost as if the event wasn't an accident at all, but a correction. This possibility immediately split the scientific community. Some argued it was a coincidence, a natural impact amplified by an unusual chemical composition. Others whispered something much darker, that Atlas isn't what it appears to be. They pointed to Voyager 2, to strange signals in deep space, and to the repeating anomalies tied to this object since the moment it was first detected. Was this strike not an accident, but an intervention? And then came the data that no one could ignore. Infrared readings, captured moments after the flash, revealed spikes in thermal energy across Atlas's surface. Not random heating, but lines, geometric streaks cutting across its structure like circuitry awakening. Within hours, several instruments registered radio noise coming from the object. It was faint at first, then it began to pulse. Not just static. It was organized, coherent. If this was just a comet, why would it suddenly start emitting a signal? Why would its surface glow with symmetrical heat patterns instead of the chaotic fragmentation of a normal impact? The evidence pointed in one terrifying direction. Something had hit Atlas, yes. But whatever it was, wasn't trying to destroy it. It was trying to wake it up. The awakening of Atlas was subtle at first, but it soon became impossible to deny. Telescopes positioned around the globe began to notice that its brightness didn't fade as expected. Instead, it pulsed. Steady and rhythmic, like the heartbeat of something alive. Even more unnerving, the frequency of those pulses matched patterns once detected in mysterious fast radio bursts from distant galaxies. Random noise does not repeat with such precision. Something intelligent does. Then came the orbital surprise. Analysts at NASA and the European Space Agency reported that Atlas had altered its course. Not by accident, not through a gravitational slingshot or natural decay, but with sharp precision. Its trajectory shifted toward the inner solar system, cutting through predicted models as if it were ignoring the laws of celestial mechanics. Think about that. A body traveling millions of miles through space suddenly adjusting itself as though it had a destination in mind. The unsettling truth began to spread in hushed conversations among astrophysicists. Atlas may not be just a rock. It may be technology. Something built, not born. And if it truly is, then the impact we witnessed wasn't a collision at all. It was a signal, a switch, a command that activated it. But here's the most disturbing part. Moments after the supposed strike, ground-based radio observatories detected a faint reply. Not from Atlas itself, but from beyond. A signal bounced back, low frequency, faint but traceable. 
as if whatever struck Atlas had sent a message, and something out there had answered. The timing was too perfect to dismiss as coincidence. Let's pause here and consider the contrast. On one hand, you have the mainstream explanation. Random cosmic debris hit a wandering object, making it flare brighter, change trajectory, and release some radiation. That's safe, comforting, almost boring. On the other hand, the unexplained data suggests coordination, precision, and intent. It suggests we just witnessed communication, or even activation, of something alien moving silently among us. Which version seems more plausible to you? As the debate raged, new images arrived from high-powered telescopes. They revealed structures on the object's surface, straight ridges, symmetrical grooves, sharp angular formations that do not appear naturally on icy rocks. These features had been hidden under layers of dust and ice, but after the strike they became visible, glowing faintly with residual heat. Some compared the imagery to panels, like plating on a spacecraft. Others warned against jumping to conclusions, saying optical illusions in deep space can trick the eye. Yet those images spread like wildfire, igniting both wonder and fear. And the fear is justified. Because if Atlas is not just a comet, then we are not just observing it. It is observing us. The timing of the strike, the pulse-like signals, the orbital shift, and the geometric structures all point to an intelligence at work. Whether it's ancient technology drifting aimlessly until now, or an active probe suddenly awakened, the implications are staggering. For now, scientists are watching, waiting, analyzing every flicker and every pulse. But one thing is certain, something extraordinary just happened to 3 I Atlas, and instead of being destroyed, it came alive. The only question that remains is this, what happens when it reaches us? Thank you so much for watching. If you found this as fascinating and terrifying as I did, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss our next deep dive into the mysteries of the cosmos. See you in the next video.